Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates and another episode of Star Wars Battlefront 2 Top 5 Plays and the first launch episode. We now have so much content to feature in this series and I'm really excited to look through all of your clips. This is of course very early since it's still early access so I've only got a very limited selection of clips to pick from but I'm assuming next week once the game releases for everyone I'm gonna get a lot of cool clips from you guys. So make sure that you keep the link in the description below handy whenever you record clips in Battlefront 2. And if you want the chance to win the HD60 capture card so you can record gameplay from your consoles, there's also a link for that in the description below. And the winner will be picked at the end of the month as usual. But now, let's get straight into it. Starting off, we have a clip from Minimi10. And this clip made me really glad because the flame trooper was so bad in the beta that he managed to get a 4 man multi kill pretty much at the same exact moment with the flame trooper. And it really shows that the flame trooper is not something you want to face off against indoors because, well, you will get roasted in a couple of seconds, that's for sure. Your best bet is probably to just kill the flame trooper as fast as you possibly can but chances are that you will still burn to death after he's dead, if you caught on fire. Moving on, we have a clip from a buffoon who's playing with Yoda on Endor. And he jumps around getting a couple of kills with his lightsaber, but then finds the perfect opportunity to use his Unleash ability and get 5 kills with one push. Which was extremely satisfying to see, but it also made me think, Imagine if he would have charged it up beforehand, which would have increased the radius with it. Maybe he could even have gotten one or two more kills with it in that case. But a very nice multi-kill nevertheless. And at the number three spot, we have Brother Body with a very interesting play with Lando in Heroes vs. Villains on Naboo. As you can see, the enemy team only has one reinforcement left which in this case is Kylo Ren and he sneaks up behind Kylo starts shooting him and Kylo tries to pull him off the side which fails but then he starts slashing him and when he's almost dead he actually probably accidentally rolls off the side but he manages to shoot Kylo Ren while Lando is in the air to finish him off and give his team the win. A very interesting tactic to say the least and I wasn't even sure that you could shoot in the air but apparently that is a valid tactic because I don't think anyone expects to get shot from someone falling down that hole. At the number two spot we have Fast Like Dar with a almost flawless play with the Vanguard. The reason to why I say almost is because he fires six shots and gets five kills which looks really satisfying but it still makes you wish that it would have hit that one shot a little bit better so that it would have been a flawless five shots and five kill clip and lastly at the number one spot we have Velo, who is of course back with a bunch of awesome clips now that battlefront 2 is out he managed to get a four man kill with darth maul in heroes vs villains including two targets as well. And I still don't quite understand why Darth Maul is so good in Heroes vs Villains in, in the hands of some players because he doesn't really have any defensive abilities but still he managed to tank four different players and almost single-handedly take them all out which includes a Yoda that gets healed up to full health due to becoming the target. So a very impressive play by Velo. But that brings this video to an end. As always a big thank you to Elgato Gaming for sponsoring this series. If you're interested in any other capture cards or their other streaming and recording products you can find a link to that in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and as always may the force be with you.